Well, hello internet, my name is Sean Crasher and I'm making this intro because this is something that for a long while I didn't think I'd ever actually manage to get, but equally I need to offer an explanation for it and why I consider it to be what it is. So for quick context, I've been running Pikes Peak and Dirt Rally 1 for a while now and for about, I guess since a year and a half ago when I finally PB'd far more than I thought back then, that was when I started kind of more inconsistently, just at times just deciding I'll go and try to do world record attempts and... Yesterday we managed to beat what the Dirt Rally server, RaceNet servers, considered to be the world record of Simon 351s. And so, obviously I need to offer a little bit of explanation behind that, or as best I can. Because, going back here, my old personal best was an 815-1. One, one and change, farther than that. So I'd be sitting in 90th. And previously when I had that personal best, I was sitting about 10th or 11th. Essentially 10 or 11 overall. Not really in the position because there's a lot of hacked and modded times in here and that's why I utilize whatever they give me here in this timesheet to determine it and that's why I consider Simon's time as the world record that I went up against and so obviously being 90th here that would put me more positions down so it's clear that more people have run Pikes Peak in that year and a half when I did this back in August if the run is a highlight over on the Twitch channel of mine if y'all are looking into that unfortunately I didn't actually keep the highlight going until or far enough along to actually get to the Leroy page, and that's my fault on that. But I know that I was higher up now, and obviously it would be lower today than it would have been. So I know there's still people that, at least a handful that run it, and ultimately would have bumped me back down, and that has shown because this, whatever the number next to me is here, whatever that's represented by, it has dropped some from where it used to be. I never had recording of that because I didn't consider it much outside of just it's a nice personal best that I had. But that's where it is. So it's clear the server is still at least going, and otherwise it's not like they just stopped. But equally, I don't know the frequency at which they update anymore, seeing as it still shows that Simon's got the world record, and that, that's just fine. I just want to give context here. Now, if I let me hop forward a little bit. So this is where I sit. It's obviously it ended up did did end up being faster than Simon's, but equally, I do consider a lot of these times not too far off from where I was, still higher up, to be feasible. Why they aren't included? The best explanation I can give is that. Many people in the Dirt community are familiar with the All Cars, All Tracks mod. It's a wonderful thing. I've never actually downloaded or used it, though I probably will one day, perhaps, even though it's already going on four, almost, well, five years old next year for this game, so. But the best that I can come up with in a few others that I've talked to who are familiar with the game is that if you had that mod, even though it's not performance changing to where it'd make unrealistic times, like at the very top of the timesheets that will show up at the end of runs, it will still not be put into the RaceNet server's database, which is why Simon has been the world record holder for however long he's had it for now, and that's why I still use him as the benchmark for considering what the world record is. Otherwise, I'm going off of what RaceNet tells me and what data I've been given here. While I believe most of those are feasible, if they're not showing up here, that's why I'm not considering them in the tallies of things, and that's why I'm considering what I've managed to do as a world record for this now. And Hopefully that's agreeable with most of y'all as well, because that's the best that myself and a few others can come to for why the other people aren't there. But uh, with that out of the way, at least, we'll head on with the one run, and hopefully y'all enjoy it and what transpired yesterday. The stream will still be up for at least a good while until Twitch gets rid of it. I've highlighted the run there as well, but this will at least be a higher quality rather than the whatever Twitch messes up with the audio each time you highlight something. But either way, I hope y'all enjoy this, and this is something that means a lot to me and didn't think what actually happened all that even that soon into the stream yesterday but with that out of the way we'll get on to the run
Yeah, the robot's okay. So I'm gonna lose this too much time. 